Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Somebody's about to be trying to make a comeback here, guys. This is a return of a person or somebody. I feel like this is somebody that you guys were like, you ended things with this person. You ended things with this person. You guys may have not a whole, had a whole lot of closure to this situation, but I feel like you guys got sick of this person. Like you felt you couldn't deal with them anymore. Um, there was a lack of understanding between you and this person. Um, you just didn't know what to do in this situation anymore. This person was very closed-minded. They were resistant to change. They were um, stuck in some outdated views, opinions, ways of thinking. This person is very out of touch with reality. Um, and I got, I think somebody got fed up with that. So I feel like you, you broke up. You cut somebody off. This is kind of like, whose reading was this? Cancer's reading. Um, I believe it was cancer. But it's like somebody got fed up with somebody. There, Somebody got cut off. You dis you're dismissing somebody here. You rejected them. You're not no longer interested in this person. You don't feel like you can deal with them anymore. But this person wants to keep you around. They don't want... Now this person all of a sudden has like this belief in this relationship. They don't want it to be over. They think that you guys are supposed to be together. Um, I see this person trying to kind of butter you up a little bit. They're going to be make making a comeback, but... You guys are not going to settle for less than you deserve. I don't see that here. This is somebody that you could consider like a close friend to you, but it was maybe more than that. Friends with benefits. Um, somebody close to you is feeling that your relationship is dying, that your feelings are dying. You could have stopped speaking to this person. Yeah, it's like so you've cut off communication with somebody. You're no longer associating with someone here. It could be a friend. It could be a romantic interest. Somebody that um, friend zoned you. You're 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 not settling for being front friend zoned anymore, or friends with benefits. Um, it's like somebody can feel you losing interest in them, and now it's like this person's about to wake up. So you guys may yeah, it's like this person's about to have an awakening here. They're going to take your advice. Maybe you guys were trying to like encourage this person, give them some advice, or maybe they're getting advice from somebody else around them. It could be a friend. Um, and it's like, they're going to finally take that advice. It's like, they're, they're, they're going to finally wake up here. You guys can hear my little baby. It's like somebody's, Finally going to take some constructive criticism. Reflect on themselves. Wake up to the reality of their situation. Reality of their life. Somebody didn't like getting out of their comfort zone. They just like to live a very basic. Unexciting. Inauthentic life. It's like they're not really living the life that they, like the be their best life. They're just settling in life. Because they're, they're, it's like somebody's resistant to change. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm seeing that somebody is done. Somebody is moving on from this. But somebody feels like there's a lack of closure. So this person doesn't feel like things are over between the two of you. You guys are, but it's like, they're going to, they're going to, they've been in de denial about it. They've been delusional thinking, ah, nah, things aren't over between me and um, the collective. But I'm telling you guys, they're going to feel some type of energy shift here. They're going to feel that your, your feelings are dwindling for them. You guys are moving away from them. You're releasing them. Your, your interest is, you know, decreasing in them. They're going to feel that. And then this one, this person's going to want to um, make a comeback here. All right, so what's their intentions? What are they coming back for? Why are they coming back? Benching. Because they feel like this situation has potential, but they're not 100% sure. This is maybe somebody also that thought the grass was greener on the other side and they realized that that was not true. Mm, this person may be planning to come towards you. This is somebody, there could be distance between you and this person. They could be also going through some type of financial situation, but um, I see, yeah, there's somebody struggling here with something, with money. They're in a rough patch in their life. They're going through like a rough situation, some type of difficult times. 
And they're going to communicate this to you. What is this communication that's coming in? Tell me more about this communication that's coming in towards my collective. They're about to expose some type of secret to you. Expose something to you. Call you out about something. Or they're going to tell you something that like about their personal life that you didn't know. All right. What about millennials? What about self-enterprising? Somebody, they want to go in a different direction. They want to break. They want to stop living this boring, traditional or like... Uh, they want to get out of their comfort zone here. They're ready to go in a different direction. But I feel like you guys are going to maybe, maybe be dodging this person or not interested. Dismissing them. Yeah, we have by Felicia on the back of the deck. It's like, you guys are just going to dismiss this person. You're over this person. Because you just feel like this person has been just, they're stupid. They, they, they behave stupidly. They're reckless. Something is unappealing about this person. Yeah, this person could have just only wanted to have, like, sex with you. Okay, this person could have just, like, there could have been a strong sexual chemistry between you and this person. But, and this person, you feel like this person is trying to reel you in. They're going to, like, just reel you back in and then they're going to go back to their old ways. It's like, you feel like this person has done you dirty. You're, like, upset or bitter over something that they've done to you or you're just annoyed with this person. You feel like they're just maybe trying to get a reaction out of you, disrupt your life. Hmm... All right, let's do deeper. Tell me more about what's going on with this person that's coming through in my collective's reading. What's going on in this person's life? What's going on in this person's life, spirit? So this person tries to act like, <laughs> this is a person that wears masks, guys. This person tries to act like they don't have feelings for you, that they're unfazed by the fact that you have maybe stopped talking to them, or um, this person has, does a really good job of hiding how they're truly feeling. This person is kind of trying to convince themselves that they're not, they weren't, they're not emotionally invested in you, but that's not true. This person does not even know how to express to you how much love they have for you, okay? Um, they definitely do have, and like, yeah, it's like something about you. You've left a mark on this person's life. They are forever changed, changed since encountering you because there is some type of, yeah, it's like this connection was supposed to aid in spiritual development or spirit uh, in growth. Yeah, we have the friendship card here. So this is somebody that maybe friend zoned you or you were friends with benefits with. They, they were more comfortable being friends than taking this to the next level here. But this person's realizing that nobody compares to you. No one has ever made them feel the way that you do. They, they're realizing that you're irreplaceable or they're going to realize. But this person is really wanting you to take the initiative. They're wanting you to chase them, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, I see this person. You're, they're going to have to work up the courage to come towards you and ask you out. Because you are you guys are not going to take action towards them. But we have divine timing here. So in divine timing, there is possibly a reconciliation going to ooh happen between you and this person. We have love triangle here. We have love triangle This person's going to be losing their mind that you're not speaking to them. But this person can only be mad at themselves, okay? Um, this person may try to do something to trigger you or get a reaction out of you. Reel you back in, I'm telling you guys. But we have love triangle here. There's a third party. So what can you tell me about this third party? What can you tell me about this third party spirit? All in my head. So they are, they can't, they're very, um, what about this third party? So this person just maybe entertains other options. It's like this person wants to reach out to you, but they chicken out. Okay, this person is like in this arrogant, they, they're trying to act unfazed. They act arrogant like they, they can find someone better than you. So the, the third party could mo definitely be this person's ego or their arrogance. Tell me more about the third party. Work. So the third party could be work and money as well. 
finances, work, the fact that this person has an avoidant personality. Yeah, it's like this person tries to use things to distract themselves from what's really going on here. We have solitude, but it looks like this person's not going to have much distractions. It's like something is about to happen and it's going to push this person into solitude. They're going to have no choice but to face some things here. It's, and that's what this person needs. Why is new love showing that stuff to me? Moved on. So what's this mean for my collective stalking? So yeah, I feel like you guys are moving on to new love. You guys are trying to manifest new love for yourselves. Um, it's like you're letting this person go so that you guys can both move on with your lives. And this person's watching you. They're stalking you. They're watching your social media. They're watching you walk away from them. Hmm, what about, I don't like that. What about waiting game? Divorce. So this person's trying to end some type of long-term commitment or relationship, a marriage. This person, th I'm telling you, this person thinks that you'll be there when they're done doing whatever the hell they're doing, but that's not true. This person is, they're being divinely guided to what? Drama. To remove themselves from some type of toxic, dramatic drama situation. They're, they've been divinely guided to remove themselves from that situation. All right, we have secret love here. So I told you this person has love for you, but they've never been. I don't think they've ever really told you or they've been trying to keep this a secret. This person, I told you, this already showed itself to me. This person's losing their mind that you're not speaking to them. I, then we have that pushing buttons again. They think that you're trying to trigger them. They think you're trying to push their buttons to, to get them to show you that you care about them. I don't know, guys. It looks like if that's what you guys are trying to do, it's kind of working. This person feels like they're at their breaking point. They have to make a decision. They have no other choice but to make a decision because I feel like you guys are walking away. Trust your intuition. What's this mean for my collective? One last chance. Yeah, this person's going to come back and ask for another chance. Should my collective give this person a chance? Mm-hmm. This person can't even sleep. You're, you're on their mind so much. Because, yeah, we have true love here. There's true love between you and the person. I don't know. We'll be with it. We have love triangle again. Divine timing. Take it slow. Mm. This person has been trying to, has been taking their dear old time, removing some type of third party situation from their life. And I feel like by the time, they're going to be gone. I don't know. This person is not really aware of what they need to change within themselves either. Like, they don't really think they need to change. All right, let's we'll do one more card to wrap up this spread. We have player here. This person wants to keep their options open. They don't like emotionally investing. Because they feel like they have too many obligations or burdens to emotionally invest or they're burdened. But it's like this person holds all their feelings in and it's really weighing very heavy on them. They're strategizing. They're going to offer you something here. They're pretending to be happy. They've been learning some type of karmic lessons here. Yeah, they are trying to eliminate somebody or a situation from their life. But they're doing this in secret. They're, they're keeping you know, some things on the low. This person doesn't feel like they'll ever be able to get over you. So they're going to, worth waiting for here is again, I don't know, guys. They're, they're trapped. They feel trapped in some type of situation. All right. So let's see. What's this person's intentions for the collective? This person's intentions for the collective. Yeah, I told you. I have other priorities that need my attention right now. Please be patient. This person wants you to wait on them. This person wants you to just keep waiting for them. And I don't think that's going to I don't think you guys are going to do that. But it's like this person has so many other obligations. They have things going on right now. And they just don't feel like they have the time or energy for this connection. I plan on having a mutual friend. This person is afraid you're going to reject them. So they may have somebody else reach out to you. Mm, I don't like that. That's cowardice. Um... This person feels like it's risky to jump into a relationship here. They're scared. It, it, it scares them to think about jumping jumping into anything. This person feels like you have a lot of needs and a lot of wants that maybe they can't fulfill. This person's worried about what people will think about them getting into this connection or relationship with you. But it looks like this person, they're going to ask you out, guys. 
Yeah, I'm going to conquer you. I don't care who you're dating. You are mine. So I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, you guys are moving on. I feel like you guys are moving on to new love or there's a new love manifesting for you. And this person does not care. They're going to come back and they're going to try to get, you know, put themselves back into your life. They don't care if you're in a relationship. I don't think sorry is going to be enough. I'm planning a surprise. I told you this person's planning something here. This person's going to, they, they want to take you out for dinner, for drinks. This person feels like you are theirs. They don't want anybody else to have you. They feel very possessive over you. I see them going to put some effort into this relationship. I'm only, uh, I'm only here to help you heal those parts of yourself you've been ignoring for so long. Trust the process. I feel like you and this person both have done that to each other. I told you, I feel like this person has been avoiding some things for quite some time. They're not able to run from it anymore. This person wants you to hear them out. When they come in and they want to talk to you, they're going to tell you this is a complicated situation. And if everything's not black and white, okay? Like, they, they're like, hear me out, hear me out. Um, they're going to take, they, they do think it's risky to jump into something, but they're about to take a risk here, guys. They think that you're worth the risk. Yeah, they're going to find you. They're going to track you down. They can't stop thinking about you. This person's planning to reunite with you in some type of big way because they feel like just them coming in and sending you a message, an apolo apology is not going to be enough. So they have something else that they're planning here. Okay. So what else do I want to take a look at? Let's take a look at the future. In the well, we have rare gift here, so this person could be planning to also gift you something. Um, but I feel like this is more like something from the divine. The divine is going to be gifting something to you, and they want you to seize this opportunity. Um, it's like spirit says the gift is that something is blocked for your highest good, something is not going to be able to move, is not going to move forward, and that's actually going to be a blessing in disguise. Tell me more. Toxicity, yeah, because if that situation were to move forward, it would be toxic. There's some toxicity that needs to be purged from your life. So it's like you're going to be having a realization that a situation not working out or not progressing is actually a blessing here. But look at this. We have good news here. Deep thinking. Hmm. Marriage. We have marriage on the back of the deck. And contracts. So somebody, passion. Hmm. Okay, tell me about woman. What's this mean for my collective? We have single life. So I feel like, what's this mean for my collective? Children. I see someone as a single mother. Somebody's a single mom. What does this have to do with single life, children, and women? If you are a single parent, um, I see that I don't, I don't, you're not going to settle for somebody that you don't feel is a good match for you or that you feel, if you feel like you deserve better than what that person has to offer. All right. Um, I see someone focusing on raising their children. Um, and I see that there's going to be some doors opening. Okay. For the, the single mother, the single father. Um, if you've been having some issues in your life, I see solutions manifesting. So tell me more about this good news that's coming in. So good news is coming in, in divine timing about, or messages here about a secret. You're going to be receiving communication from a, a person that you haven't been speaking to, or a secret is going to be revealed here. Okay. In divine timing. And spirit says it's going to require a willingness to do new things. It could be work for some of you. It could be a job situation. Okay, tell me about this situation that's not moving forward. Sad news. I see you guys being sad about how this situation not progressing, but it's like, it's like this is actually a blessing. 
It's like you guys have an inner knowing that this is probably something that's not, something's not meant for you. Even though it saddens you. So tell me more about toxicity. Sadness, yeah. You're sad that you have to remove somebody from your life, but you feel like that's what's best. You're trying to go with the flow. All right, so tell me what this means. And I feel like Spirit wants you to focus on really enjoying your life, being happy. They also want you to take some time to really reflect on yourself, reflect on your decisions, reflect on your life as a whole. And Spirit is saying that, like, you guys have been maybe battling with some insecurities or Spirit really wants you to focus on what you can change. So you guys may have been trying to change a person, but Spirit says you can't make another person change. You guys can only change yourself and your situation. All right, we have, re we have reconciliation on the back of the deck. It's like there is a possibility that you and this person are going to reconcile, but it's only after somebody is in a karmic cycle and somebody has to take a risk and put an end to that or remove themselves from that situation. Somebody's stuck in some type of toxic karmic cycle that they need to take a risk and remove themselves from. So what does this mean for the collective, for this situation that's coming through, for this couple, this connection? We have contracts, so that already showed itself to me. Tell me more about contracts. You guys have some type of soul contract, past. Yeah, I'm telling you, this something is not finished between you and this person. This person's going to be returning because you guys have a soul contract that hasn't been fulfilled yet. All right, tell me more. We have burnout, rebuilding. But it's something that you guys don't have control over. This is something outside of your control. Spirit wants you to focus on just bettering yourself, rebuilding your life, investing in yourself. We have soulmate here. I guys, I see you and this person coming back together in the future. This is going to be a soulmate connection. We have angel. Yeah, it's like you and this person are going to be divinely guided back to each other. And Spirit wants you to know that you guys are protected. Yeah, I told you. Unfinished business. We have up in the air. Things are still up in the air between you and this person. All right. Let's do one more card. Yeah. Spirit says this is a rare love or a rare connection that you share with this person. We have the unseen. Something is going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. It's like the situation is being orchestrated by the divine behind the scenes. Good health. Hot mess. Yeah, it's like some type of chaotic, messy situation. That cycle is coming to an end here. It's been something to do with a third-party situation that's been causing a lot of chaos in a situation, a connection, your life, and that's going to be coming to an end. Yeah, and it's like there's going to be like a love offer that comes in out of nowhere. This, it's like you and this person feel a magnetic con a attraction to each other or this person feels very drawn to you. And it's like this all love offer from this person or this person asking you out, coming to see you, this job offer, whatever this is, this somebody wanting to take things to the next level, it's going to come in very, it's going to be very shocking. You're not going to be expecting this. It's like things are going to move very quickly. All right. So let's get you guys some advice about this situation. I saw the marriage card, guys. You and this person have the potential to this situation has the potential to lead to marriage also i'm getting that maybe somebody is in a marriage and that's probably a, one of the problems all right somebody needs to is needs to get a divorce because they're in a toxic marriage somebody's in some type of toxic contract More. taking you for a ride careful not to be taken for a ride and waste your time chasing lies take control of your love life and realize you're good enough to deserve better mm, this person has just been stringing you along or what's the word i'm looking for we have cold peace what exactly do you love about him if he's treating you in a way that feels disrespectful Ask yourself what part of you allows this behavior to continue. So Spirit really wants you to think about what is even appealing about this person? What is, what is it that you even really see in this person? Okay. Um, this person is just giving you the runaround. That's what I was trying to say. You know what I mean? Um, we have happy times. You're entering a happier cycle. Yeah, I told you that all that chaos is coming to an end. A cycle of chaos. 
difficult times is coming to an end and it's like spirit says you guys have been strong you have uh overcame so much and spirit says it's your turn to receive and be blessed spirit says you guys have learned enough lessons it's time to be it's time for fulfillment we have friendship here again this is somebody that friend zoned you or you guys are friends of benefits you guys were trying to be friends but it was more than that it says focus on building a friendship before becoming lovers so maybe that's what you and this person need to take things slow and maybe just Start off as friends. Get to know them for who they are without letting attraction get the better of you. Maybe your encounters with this person would always turn sexual. Or you had a passionate connection with this person. Have patience. We have get outside. Some of you guys have been being hermits. Spending more time in nature will help you take the pressure off of love. And remind you that life is beautiful even in the gloomy days. Perspective shift. Yeah, get out of bed. You guys have been in some type of funk over this situation some of you guys i have this issue i know i go to bed when i don't want to deal with things okay i go to bed i sleep as a way as an escape and spirit says some of you guys have been doing that spirit says that is only a temporary fix that does not fix your issues all right spirit says you guys have overcame so much do not give up now you guys can are strong enough to get through whatever it is that you're facing yeah, we have tough girl here. Your strength intimidates them. You're hoping you make the first, they're hoping you make the first move, but don't. Yeah, this person wants you to really chase them. Don't do it, guys. Any man worth having must match your strength. They have to meet you at your level. And we have casual. Yeah, this person didn't want to have anything committed. They wanted to have just something casual. If casual dating is not your thing, it might be time to look elsewhere. This guy or girl has no intention on settling down anytime soon. It's up to you. So if that's what you guys want, then all right, you know, but if this, that's not what you want, if you guys want to get married, if you guys want to build a life with somebody, I don't know, guys, we have gift. You may be surprised by someone's act of kindness. Be open to small gestures or any proposals that come your way. So that's why this is going to be surprising, guys. This already came through, that lightning card. This person is going to shock you because they're going to be coming in and offering you something, proposing something to you offering you something gifting you something and this is out of this person's element this person wanted to you know friend zone you they wanted to have something casual and here they come in with an offer or a proposal now it says someone is not expressing their true feelings problems would get solved and your love life would get easier if both of you were open and honest that's the problem is that this person is refusing to express their true feelings be open and honest with you and until they do that this situation is going to be blocked yeah, we have ego trip here. This person, it says he knows he missed out on a good woman or man. His mistake was thinking you wouldn't walk away. We've already mentioned this. This person didn't think you would walk away. This person thought you would always be waiting for them. They didn't think you would ever. It's like this person knew exactly how much you loved and cared for them. All right. They knew how much you, how, how strong and deep your feelings were for them. And they thought that you would always be around. But that's not the case. You guys are walking away. Um, and it says now it's your turn to be chased. This person's going to have to chase you if they want you. And then, like, some of you guys have some people around you that aren't good for you. Some friends. This could be this person that has people that aren't good for them around them. It says success can breed fake friends and enemies. Keep your circle small. Raise your standards for life and the people you allow in it. And that could just be saying that you need to raise your standards for who you are dating. If this person is not willing to meet you at your level, then you need to remove them from your circle or from your life. Okay, so I want to, like, get some timing cards to wrap up the reading before I do timing I want to see what can my collective do in this situation is there anything that the collective can do to um, help their situation All right, we have compromise. Mm. Compromise is a bridge you need to cross to make peace with your partner. Learn the art of compromise and meet each other halfway. All right, guys. Spirit says you would have to be willing to meet this person halfway. If you're, if this is somebody that you're desiring to reconcile with, you're gonna have to meet you and this person are gonna have to meet each other halfway. So that it says, learn the art of compromise and meet each other halfway, so that you minimize the amount of friction in your relationship, so both feel valued and fulfilled. So you may, it's like Spirit said, you may not get everything that you want in this connection at first, but if you and this person are able to meet each other halfway, then that's a good start at, uh, you know, manifesting the relationship that, you know, you desire with this person. Okay. 
What do we have on the back of the deck? We have sex is not love. You see? I'm telling you, I told you this connection was like sexual. Sex is one way to show love to them, but don't allow it to rule your relationship. Relying on sex alone could prevent you from knowing them on a deeper level. Somebody is okay with sexual connections, but when it comes to true intimacy, they have an issue with that. Okay? Spirits, you have to let this person earn your body. Okay? Don't give in, don't let, just let this person have your body and they haven't earned it. Okay? If they're not willing to meet you halfway, if they're not willing to, you know, make you feel valued and fulfilled, you could be making this person feel very valued and fulfilled, but they're not doing the same thing for you, then no, you, I would hold off on that. Okay? So what's the future looking like for this situation? <laughs> we have yes here. So sometime this spring, this person's going to come in and try to test the waters. They're about to make some type of big move. They're going to make take some type of risk or make a big move here, make a big decision. Um, and, but they're going to come in and they want to, they're going to ask you, do you still feel that way about me? Do you still want to be with me? Do you still want to be a family? Do you still want to be in a relationship? They want to know if you still feel the same way before they offer you something here, but they're going to come in. But spirit says you deserve better. It's like, once you guys started, once you guys realize that you deserve better than whatever this person was giving you, I feel like this person was breadcrumbing. It's like, once you guys realize that you deserve better, your, your self love improved, your self image improved. You freed yourself, okay? And it was like you overcame your fear of like maybe getting back out there and dating again, overcame your fear of starting new. And it's like that's when everything started moving in the right direction for you. It was like spirit was trying to teach you a lesson in self-love and knowing your worth, all right? So I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. For